Hey, what is up everyone, Norman from Future Screen University here, and welcome to another video in this retrofit series. In the past two videos, we have seen a lot of options on how to define query parameters with retrofit. In this video, we will look at one last option on how we can add query parameters to every single request, no matter where it's from. So as you might remember, we've implemented a, a fake search endpoint and let's review what we have done. So we had our API endpoint. Um, first, we had a, the explicit declaration of our query parameters and then we used the map for a more general dynamic option. And what we haven't looked at is if we have one query parameter every single time, like the API key is a common example. If your app uses these endpoints from like 10 different points in your app and you need to get the API key and then add it every single time, this is super annoying and the code is not very clean. So in order to get a better implementation, let's take these two things um, which we expect for every request out and move them to a central location. So let's go to our main activity where we already have the the creation of the retrofit object and down here we're passing the API key which we now want to use somewhere else. So let's store that in a variable for now. If you have seen the how to add a header to every single request, you probably know what's coming now. The best way to do something for every single request is to use an OK HTTP interceptor. And if you want to see the details, I would recommend to watch the other video, which I will link in the description below. But just a quick run through it. We set the client, and here we're creating a new OKHTTP OK client. And we use the builder. And then what's interesting about it, we add an interceptor. So what that means, every request which will be done with this retrofit object will go through this interceptor. And this interceptor can manipulate the request on our needs. So in this case, we want to add a query parameter to every request. Now, as last time, we can access the original request with the chain.request command. Unlike last time, where we added a header to the request, we need to change the actual URL this time because queries are always part of the request URL. So what you can do is original.url, and here we get a retrofit HTTP URL object, which we then can use to add the new query or query parameter, actually. And let's call this HTTP URL. As you might remember from the last video, you can't make the changes directly. You have to make a new copy and then make your manipulations on that one. So we are going to get a new request builder. And this at request builder, we will build our new request. And we can return that request. So now the interceptor took the request and we're passing it back to the um, to retrofit. Obviously, we need to pass the request through the chain and not directly. All right. What I haven't done is adding the actual query parameter to the HTTP URL. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new HTTP URL, which is based on the old one. So we're going to say HTTP URL, which is the original version. We're going to call new builder on it, so we can make changes. And then we have a add query parameter um, function where we can actually add a new query parameter. So here we're going to use our API key. So up here we have declared the API key as a variable. So we can simply pass this here. 
makes this up here final. And then lastly, call build. So what we have done here is we took the original URL, we've added a query parameter, and now we have this new HTTP URL object. So now we just have to simply switch out the URL from the request. It's down here. And now every request has that one new query parameter, no matter if it's sent with the map option or with the explicit annotation, either way works. So let's try this out. Okay, let's start our search and our API breakpoint triggered. And as we can see down here, we have the API key, um, just like we expected. We set it in the OKHTTP OK client interceptor. Now we have two IDs, which is interesting. So let's quickly investigate that. Um, we have, oh, because we have the ID in the map and we also set it here. Okay, that's why here we have two IDs. So Retrofit can even handle that. Excellent. So just to quickly review, what you have seen in this video is how you can access the HTTP URL object via the OK HTTP interceptor and then change that URL. For example, adding new query parameters with the add query parameters. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you've learned something new and subscribe if you want to see more videos in this series. Enjoy coding and make it work. Right.